I've liked Kingdom Hearts ever since I was a kid. I understand not everyone is happy with his addition, but... I don't mind it. I think he's a good final character. I mean, I don't think people are unhappy because it's Sora. I think I think it's more of a it it was the final character and everyone everyone kind of had a hope for what the final character might be. Like everyone had a preference. And it was it, it's such a large thing Smash Brothers is that it's like no matter who the final character was, someone was going to be happy and someone was was going to be disappointed. There's just too many people like Smash Brothers for there to have not been a split uh, reception. I'm content with the characters we got, and a lot of people are. But you know, when you've got a fan base as large as Smash Bros, you just can't make you can't make everybody happy. All right, so for the final or f for the last time we played this, I made my way back to the beginning area, which took forever. But we've got so many new abilities now that we should be able to go around and get items, which is why I came back here. So let's let's go item hun hunting. And uh, make Samus a bit stronger here. I also gotta remember how to play. But last time a lot of stuff happened. Uh, the X parasites are back. So that's nice. We met a Chozo who spoke to us, and Samus spoke. That was pretty cool. And we got this ability. Samus had one line of dialogue, and it was in the Chozo langu language. I can, uh, I can probably find the cutscene if you'd like to see it and show it off. Just as a little recap of last time. Alright, so... With that new scan ability, finding secrets is a lot easier. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was a very cool moment. Well, there's an item here somewhere that I can probably get. Oh yeah, we got the gravity jump. The X-Parasites um, coming back was another cool cutscene. You, you find them in containment and uh, inadvertently set them free. But, yeah, we definitely need to go item hunting because I did a boss battle at the end of the last stream that busted my balls. <laughs> well, it's not so much that you let them out, like, accidentally. I mean, it was an accident, but, like, you had to go through their containment area to progress, not knowing that that's where they were contained. So you make your way through that area and they end up getting out. There's also been an explanation for what the Emmy units do when they impale you. Um, the main bad guy, the Chozo you run into at the beginning, uh, is trying to bring back Metroids. And Samus has Metroid DNA in her. So when the ME units capture you, they're they're impaling you with a syringe type thing to extract your Metroid DNA. Killing you in the process. A 
Okay, those these enemies are new. These these guys that are like spit spitting stuff all over the place. So is this thing jumping in, in and out of the ground. The gravity jump is a nice ability to have again. So there's an area here I haven't even explored at all. So there's at least three missile tanks I know about that I haven't found yet. I do like the ability to look for related items on the map. Ow. So, let's see, uh, there's an item over here, but there's a chance it's in this cold area, and if it is, I can't get it yet. I still do not have the ability to go in cold rooms. Getting close to a hundred missiles as well. After the recent fights I've been through, I'll take as many missiles as I can get. And I promised we'd 100% this game, so that's, you know, that's the other reason we're going around getting all the items. This game is fun, and I want to spend as much time with it as I can. So, 100%ing it. Doesn't really feel like that big of a deal. Alright. Please don't be in the cold area. It's not in the cold area. It's like... Power bomb. I, I need power bombs. I think that's what that symbol is. So we probably won't be getting that for a while. But yeah, that scan ability that they give you is way better than the uh, the scan visor in Super Metroid. It's great. Wait, actually, I want to go. I want to go up here. Oh, also, um, last time we ran into an Emmy unit that had the wave beam. That damn thing could see us and shoot us through walls. So, when I beat him, I'll have the wave beam, but, uh, I have to live long enough to beat him first. Yeah, he was a real pain in the ass. Seriously? <laughs> the precision the precision required to hit this one. Can I like manually aim at it maybe and have a better time? There we go. So here's the area we haven't been to yet. Actually, yes we have. Alright, let's see if there's anything hidden in this huge room. A door I can't get through. 
I, that's the first door of its kind I've encountered. An unknown resource has been acquired. You cannot use this item yet. Was that a power bomb tank? Did I get like a power bomb tank early, but because I don't have power bombs, it doesn't do anything for me yet? That'd be hilarious. I have been on the other side of this door though, so I don't know why- I don't know what that lock is. Ooh, that's a Missile Plus tank. Except I don't think I can get to that one. I think that one might be under lava. If it wasn't, it would be worth getting- oh, maybe not, because this is- this is what the lava looks like on the map. So maybe I should make my way up to that, because that'll be like plus 10 missiles. That's the only one in the area that I know of. Okay, there's a missile tank down here. Let's try to figure out how to get to that one. So there's one there and one on the way to that missile plus tank. Let's try to figure out how to get that. Oh, I, I, I see how to get this. Grapple beam. Nope, go, nope, 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 nope. Take me back. Take me back. Put me back. I want to go back. Damn it. I'm not done. Put me back. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, there's a little space here that I haven't explored. Uh, don't see a lot of... I think we've, we... I mean, we've got half of the items in this area. Just a little over. So there isn't going to be a lot of items left to find. Let's go up and take a look at whatever this is. Actually, it would be faster if we went left. I know I've said this last time and the time before, but this game is still a 10 out of 10. For me, personally. This, this gets, this, this is highly recommended. I was cautiously optimistic about this game. Uh, before it came out. Because I really, really wanted to be excited about it, but, you know, it could have been, it could have turned out really bad. You know, anything, anything could turn out awful. No matter how hyped up it is. But, so far this game has surpassed my expectations. Like, at every possible turn. It might be, it might be, it, it might be my game of the year. Uh, the year is almost over, and, like, out of the games we've got this year, I think this is, is probably going to be my game of the year. I don't know why I never got this, but okay. There's a missile tank I, I missed right in plain sight. 
All right, last one is over here. There's also an item we can try getting over here. So go down a little bit and then left. Then once we're done here, we'll move on to um, Kataris. And then from there, Dairon. And then we have to make our way to... Uh, we need to make our way to Berenia. That's like where that's where that's where the story will continue. Oh, look at this cool guy! Wow, that is you are huge. I, I need to go fight him. There's an item in here somewhere. That's peculiar. I think I see what I'm supposed to do, maybe. I think I need to approach it from this room. There's also this. Ah, this is a nice little shortcut. Okay, I don't need to use this right now, but that is... That is good, a good find. Let's go fight that big guy. Okay, I don't think I can counter him. His belly's weak. Figured you out, buddy. Yeah, you like that? I mean, I didn't get anything from beating him. It just made me feel good about myself. Yes, his ass was his weak spot. As is usually the case. Yeah, there's an item here. It's probably that, that block right there, yep. Our next missile tank is right there. That floor is destructible, but only with power bombs, so never mind. I think we might get the spider ball at some point, because there's a lot of power bomb blocks in areas I can't get to easily with the ball. but it's probably reserved for a very late game item considering how much how much uh, extra navigation it, it, it gives you man just like uh, James I'm just running into walls Or enemies, not walls, but enemies. Running into enemies like the walls. Oh yeah, another interesting thing this game does is when you get super missiles, instead of having a separate missile counter, they're just your regular missiles. So all of my missiles are now super missiles. I mean, that is something, I mean, I don't, it doesn't really bother me, 
but I kind of liked having separate missiles just because it added an extra layer of complexity. But at the same time, like when you do have multiple weapon types, to, you have to constantly swap through. It's a pain to try swapping through them in the middle of a boss fight while not trying to get your ass kicked. So I can understand the the decision to just make all your missiles one one thing. All right, let's see if we can get this missile plus tank. And that might be. Actually, I see. Uh, I see another thing I can check out. You know, let me. Let me see. Are there any of these in this area that I haven't done yet? No, that is the only one. Okay. After we go up here, I'll give the map one more thorough look over. But. This is probably going to be the last couple items we can get here before we have to move on. I think this is the area that was, like, collapsing as we were running through it last time. That was pretty fun. It, yeah, it definitely is. Oh yeah, that's another ability that's cool. The phase shift. Speed booster. How am I gonna do this? I can't, there's no way. There's no way I have enough space here to activate my speed booster. I, I do in this hallway, probably. Don't tell me I have to do some bullsh... Bullshit. To do... Oh, no. This is not going to be... This is not going to be easy. Is it? That worked. Crap, I forgot. You have to click the stick to activate it. Hold on. I know what I'm doing. What I need to know is how long the Shin Spark will stay active. Because I might have just barely enough time to do this. Come on, faster. Faster, for fuck's sake. No, that was not... Uh, I think I know what... I think I know what... I think I can do this. I don't think it's going to be easy. First of all, I can Shin Spark left and right. Right? Let me do an experiment. No, you can't. It's only up. Oh, shit. We... have to be as fast as possible to do this. Or there's gonna be some other way to do this. But this feels very intentional. Like you got a long hallway here just long enough. Fuck. I got closer. I can totally do this. Uh, 
Okay. What's the best way for me to get over this part? Jump. Okay. Alright. Fine. No! <laughs> they just had to do this to me, didn't they? Like, the, the scariest thing for me in any Metroid game is this. This exact kind of scenario. Fuck! How long does it last? That long. Not very long. I might have to come back to this. It might be a, just a case of an item I don't have yet. I just get frustratingly close. Fuck, what am I doing? Alright, I'm gonna make like a couple more attempts at this and then we'll move on. <laughs> I was right there. It's an energy tank too, which makes it even more tempting. Hold on, let me check something. Yeah, okay. This is this is the only way through here. My bombs just don't blow up fast enough. Hold on. I encountered some speed booster blocks earlier that were like one block high. Okay, hold on. I've I want to read something here. I found a guide for the exact moment I'm on. Okay, I think I know how to do this. I think I know how to do this. I think I know how to do this. Actually, let me check something real quick. Does it tell me any of these controls for shooting sparking? Speed booster. In addition, while the speed booster is active, Samus can propel herself in a set direction using a shin spark. Tilt L down while the speed booster is active to ready a shin spark. When, once ready, press B to activate it before tilting L in any direction to propel Samus in that direction. So, let's try some experiments, because we can definitely do this. We have everything we need to do this. Well, that, didn't, that didn't work. You can shin spark as a ball. 
So wait a second. Wait a second. Can I shin spark through those balls? No, okay, but I have an idea. I have an idea. Fuck, I accidentally ran into the door. Hmm. That didn't quite work. Somehow you can ready a shin spark for a second shin spark right in a row. I gotta figure out how to do that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, how do I get this this item? Mm. Okay, let me let me Google this, because I, I need I need pro help. Artaria speed booster energy tank. How do we do this? Okay, uh Never mind. Turns out I had the right idea how to get it. I'm missing an item I need to to do that. So let's let's move on. <laughs> I just wasted mine and everyone's time. That's okay. That's okay. I was just trying to be cool. Look what being cool gets you. Of course, it was under lava. Why does it not look like lava on this map? I should be okay. There. Well, at least we got that. Oh, now it registers as lava. Alright, let's move on to the next area. Pitaria, because I don't think there's anything else left for me to get here. Not seeing anything lit up. Man, we're one percent away from sixty nine. No, I didn't mean to go to Berenia. There is this whole section down here that I haven't explored, but I don't think actually I, I I think I can all right let's go down let's go down and check this whole area out down here he 
you motherfucker. <laughs> Sometimes that that counter is hard for me to time. I don't know why. Yeah, I can't I can't say enough good things about this game. It is the best Metroid game. Uh, it, in my opinion, I think this might be the the best 2D Metroid game I've ever played. And I grew up with the Metroid games. So like, I mean, uh, I know not everyone's going to agree with me on that statement, but there is a lot I like about this game. And maybe it's just because I'm a I'm you know, a child, but I'm not actually a child, but, you know, I am younger. I am part of a younger generation. But, I mean, I did play through all of the previous Metroid games on stream. All of the previous 2D ones, anyway. Uh, and I think I, you know, am allowed to say that this is my favorite 2D Metroid. Man, you really feel powerful when you come back to this starting area and fight some of these be beginning enemies. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting in here. Well, it was worth checking out. Let's, uh... Let's try and get this, because I might be able to, and then... And then we'll, uh, go to, uh, Kataris. Man, I can't wait to get the gravity suit. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't want to go. I don't need to go up. Let's just keep going right. A little shit took a bite out of me. Alright, let's see if there's any secret blocks here. Yes, there is. Will I be able to get to them? Probably not. Holy shit, I actually did that. That was- now that was some pro plays. Actually, it wasn't even a- it wasn't even a ball block. And this- this- this pathway- this pathway doesn't even work! Hold on, it- it might. It might. I might be able to do this. Hold on. Hell yeah. I see- there's a- Hmm. Well, there- Hmm. That- It's a- Uh... Conundrum. Bit of a conund- Bit of a- Bit of a- Issue. I know what to do. I know what to do. Not that. Okay, that was one block too low. That was one block too low, so shit. How do I adjust that?
Yeah. Okay, let me try just a normal Shin Spark, see if that does anything for me. Well, it almost did. Okay, so that's not going to work. Well, great. We've got another m mystery. I know what to do. I just realized what to do. This isn't going to be easy, but it is going to be possible. It is 100% going to be possible. Let me get these enemies out of my way. I swear it's going to be possible. So here's what we do. Never mind. For, for fuck's sake. Alright, let me test something. If I shoot like this, does it hit? Wow, I am apparently not as smart as I wish I was. Alright, that's not the solution either. I guess we're not doing this. I don't know what ability we need to be able to do that, but it's not one we have at the moment. Well, we'll come back. Let's head to Kataris. I'm like just a few items shy of being able to do these two speed booster puzzles. Let's get to Kataris. I am still very determined to 100% this. Those speed booster uh, problems are probably going to be some of the last things I managed to do. 
But I will, I swear I'll do them. I will figure them out. I might end up doing even more of this tomorrow night, honestly, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna play this for a another hour at least. Probably two, but at least one. Alright, welcome to Kataris. Let's go collect some items. What do we got for missile tanks here? It's only two that I know of. Okay. Any other items? I wish the icons for items you found were a little bit brighter because like this missile tank is one I haven't found. It doesn't appear any brighter than this this. But other than that, I don't really I, I actually quite like the map. Do you think I could reach that blue teleportal? I doubt it. There's no way. Well, here's somewhere we can go. Yeah, there's quite a lot to do here. Well, let's start. You know what, let me take a look in this room. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no way I'm going through all of that and not dying. Okay, somehow never got that. Again, some of these items I missed is is strange. Oh, I probably you know what I, I didn't have the ball last time I was there. That would be why I didn't get that. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird. You don't really think about it. Sorry about my nose. Um, it's like two and a half hours before you get the the ball in this game, and it's kind of interesting actually how like playing a Metro game without morph ball for that long. It, uh, it was an interesting way to, to spend the first couple hours of the game. Ow. Oh, okay. That wasn't so bad. Power bombs, probably. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but it seems likely. Right, so how do I get that? These enemies can shoot through, you know, the walls and the floor. I'm 
Gotcha. Oh, by the way, 103 missiles. Yeah, no idea how to get to that power bomb. That's okay, it's not like I, I really need it. So I don't know how to get to that power bomb, and I don't know how to get to this missile. It, the This missile is like I had to approach it from the outside or something. I want to go back and check, though. Here's something. Here we go. Forty two percent of the items here. All right, where to next? Grapple beam door there. Let's go check that out. Oh yeah, I wall jumped my way up there way earlier in the game. And dead end. Or is it? Ah, I see what they want us to do. Right. So, this is a, probably not happening. Not that I really need this item. Oh, there we go. That worked. Well, I'll, whatever it is, I'll have it when I can use it. Uh, what am I doing? All right, next destination. There's an item up here I might be able to grab. Uh, but I'll wait till I'm ready to go to Dairon. Uh, let's go down and check this spot. No energy parts, uh, okay. None of those. I mean, you can stick your cursor on just about any item and be like, hey, is there any other of these items? No. Alright, let's go to this spot here. I'm excited for Metroid Prime 4, but this has already been such a good Metroid game that I'm, I'm like... It's okay if Metroid Prime 4 takes a while to come out. In fact, let that game take as long as it needs, because I want it to be good. I want it to be another good Geek Metroid game. I feel like with how well this Metroid game seems to be doing in sales, from what I've read, uh, if people play it and enjoy it, and it's like their first Metroid, when Prime 4 comes out, uh, they might, like, you know, get turn to that for another Metroid experience. And, you know, that might help us get... That might help us get more Metroid games. 
Because for a long time, the series hasn't sold very well. So. And, uh, and the purpose of this room is, of course, these blocks. Okay, why couldn't I... to next. Okay, there's an unexplored area down here, which probably isn't explorable yet. There's an item right over here we're going to go try and get. I am excited for the screw attack as well, but that's probably something we're not going to get anytime soon. And of course the wave beam will be cool too, but uh, that is an item I probably will get, you know, soon-ish. I just got to be able to defeat that Emmy unit. Power bombs, of course. Gotta love me some power bombs. All right, let's head to the this area and try and get whatever item is here. We can actually get there pretty quickly if we go. No, because that will take us into the Kraid arena. All right, let's just go. Let's just go left. Space jump is the easiest it's ever been. Which, in my opinion, is excellent, because I struggled with the space jump so much. I like the way that the slide turns into the ball automatically. Over here. Right, diffusion beam. That's just a shortcut, though. But it's a good one to have, I suppose. So, where is the item? seeing any excuse me I'm not seeing any items let me guess hold on let me guess yep quickly quickly Get over here? No. Alright, let's check this spot. And then make our way up to Dairon.
Well, I'd say we've found enough items so far that made this worth coming back. I've gotten up into the 100s and missiles, which with some of the recent fights we've had is definitely worth it. Screw attack. I don't have that yet. All right, let's go up. Wait, there's a missile tank here I haven't got. Where else is there any? That's the only one I know of that I haven't got. So let's grab that and make our way up to Dairon. Nice. Okay, here we go. Right into the lava. I really do magnetize to lava in these games. Okay, slopes are the bane of my existence. They really are. left would probably be a little bit faster. And then... I might be able to get... I might... Oh, might be able to do this. Hold on. There we go. I would not have been able to do that in any old school Metroid games. But, uh... Gravity Jump is fairly easy in this one. Man, I was kind of hoping I'd find at least, like, an extra energy tank or something. Oh, man. I completely forgot about that item back here. Hold on. Like, one extra energy tank or something like that would have been great. But so far, it's just been missiles and... power bombs, I think. Okay. We got another peculiar... Shin Spark Spot. Where could we even activate Shin Spark around here? Like, I don't have anywhere around here with enough ground. Except, like, right here. There's no way I could, like... Carry a shin spark all that way. Hold on, let's test something.
Okay, I've got an idea. Got an idea. I think I can actually do this one. Fuck. Maybe. Why does that lose momentum? Is it because of the gap there? God damn it. I thought I was onto something. Well, if I run to the wall, obviously. For feck's sake. All this shin sparking crap. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Oh, I can dash through that. Still, that interrupted my shin spark. I think I gotta... I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. something. Okay, that slammed me into the wall. That put me right there. God. That's definitely the fastest way, though, so let's just try to speedrun this. Why they gotta do me like this? sake. Alright, I've got an idea. It's crazy. It might work. It worked. I can't believe it worked. I actually did it. I feel like I just redeemed myself. I mean, yeah, that was a lot of work for two missiles, but... Uh, more importantly, it's for 100%ing. We're at like 60%. We're in the 60% in the first two areas. Now we're gonna do Dairon. This is the last area we're gonna go item hunting for now. After this, we're going to go to Heridian. Uh, whatever it's called. I have so much trouble remembering the names of the places in this game. I don't even know why. What's it called? <laughs> Berinia. I don't know where the hell the H came from.
one missile tank here that I know of that is not acquired. What else? What else? Any energy tanks? Nope. All right, so yeah, we're we're starting to reach a point where we don't have enough abilities to get many more items, so. Still, having more missiles will buy us a bit of an advantage on, you know, some of the bosses. Okay, so here there's an item. Right, I actually, uh... I actually... Hold on, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. might work. Maybe. Alright, fuck. Get me up there. Hell yeah. I don't know if that was the right way to do that, but it worked for me. Two more energy parts. And, uh... We're golden, and there they are. Although I don't think I'll be getting that one, so that's that's too bad. But we can go get this one down here while we're here. All right, let's go get this energy part. I can get to this energy part anyway. We're gonna try. The real reason I wanted to go item hunting is just so we could have a break from bosses. <laughs> Last stream we did so many pain in the ass bosses like right in a row. I mean it was fun. In a masochistic kind of way. I do love how strong you get in Metroid games. Like, you start out so weak, and then... And then you start to get so strong. Alright. Alright, come on, come on. Come on, get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Come on! Come on! Yeah. That's right. That's right, boy. 
That's right. That's right. That's how you do that. Again, probably spider ball. Probably not the way they wanted you to do that, but it worked for me. That works for me. So one more of those bad boys. And we'll have another energy tank. Although I probably won't get another one of those for a while. Alright, now we're headed... Where? Well, there's two items here, but this area got too cold after I turned the power on, so... Not going back in there. There's an item here. Where's that missile? Right there. Let's try and get that. And is there any areas? I don't see any areas that are like majorly unexplored at the moment. That's got to be power bomb. I don't know what else it would be. That's my technique, you can use it. You can use it. I don't mind, use it. It's a good technique. Of course, it's another missile. Why? Okay, this one is straight up a spider ball. There is there is no other there is no other solution here. Yeah, those break instantly. All right. That's fine. Let's go down here. No, screw you. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you. Forty-five percent of the items here. You know, this is a game I'd kind of like to see a boundary break of, just because there's so much going on in the backgrounds. I mean, I know as soon as you go back there, you're going to start seeing like holes, holes in the environment, and things like that. But these are some there. There's some pretty detailed backgrounds here. It'd be cool to be able to just pull the camera up close to some of that stuff and just take a look around. Okay. Uh -huh. I, for a second, was afraid that that was going to be a goddamn speed booster block. It's become like a nightmare at this point. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything else. There's this energy part up here that I can't get to yet. 
And there's a missile tank I can't get to yet, but it doesn't... Ooh, missile plus tank. We want that. We want that. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. We're gonna try and get that missile plus tank. Apologies, I'm back. So, I've been watching a lot of Always Sunny. I mentioned this earlier. Well, not earlier today, but like yesterday, I think. Um, I really like the way Danny DeVito says whore. Whore. Your whore mother. It's, it's great. He like, he pronounces it who or. <laughs> Golly fucks a lot of whores. I don't know why I thought of that, but I did. Well, it's because I've been watching the show from the beginning. And I just finished season two. I just finished the episode where... Uh... D and uh, Dennis find out that Frank isn't even their real father. Your whore mother. <laughs> whore. I don't know why that's so funny to me, it just is. Oh wait, shit, what am I doing? I literally was like, let's go get that missile plus, and then I'm like, nah, nah, bro, let's get the fuck out of here. Also, there's a storm missile box I haven't done yet, so... There's, yeah, there's stuff to be done over here. Are there any other undone storm missile boxes? No, that's the only one I... That's the only one I know of. Okay, apologies, let's go try this again.
Alright, how do we get over to there? What's the best way? Down through here. And then this way. Right, so I know how to do the, these blocks now. I know how to do those blocks now. So if I need to destroy those to get to that missile, I will. Alright, here we go. Storm missile. What's the best approach for this? Here's a new room. Enemies become enemies. Okay, I might not be able to do this room yet. Not without spider ball, I'm not going to. Alright, well, can I at least get this? Speed booster. Well, there had to be a reason for this down here. So now we need to find somewhere where we can build up speed. This works. Just barely, but it works. Not what I meant to do. Oh, for fix sake. Why do I keep doing that mistake? Okay, so doing that accomplishes what exactly? Where should I shin spark from? It almost feels like it'd be faster for me to go up here. Hold on. Then what? Man, they really like doing this this to me, don't they? Like here, suffer. 
suffer for us. Suffer for our joy and entertainment. You haven't suffered enough. Wow, okay. This is not going to be easy. Really? So how... Mm-hmm. How would one go about getting those? Hmm? 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 Uh-huh. Ah. Ha-ha-ha. How? How? Can you s begin a shin spark in the air? Well, I didn't mean to do that. Go back down. No, you can't. So, how do I go about doing this? Right. Well, I guess I'll come back to this. Actually, you know what? Let, let me look it up. Dairon Shin Spark Missile Plus. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No. 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 Uh-uh, no. No, 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 What do you mean? No! Hold on. Are you fucking for real? Hold on. Speed booster. This is some... this is some bullshit. Oh, 
Oh, bow before my power. I've learned so much shit about the speed booster that I never, never would have even thought to try. That was, that was pretty crazy, actually. I mean, looking it up, whatever, like, I, I, I looked it up, but here's the thing. Just because I looked it up doesn't mean that I magically was granted the skills to pull it off. I still had to do that all by myself. Alright, let's, let's get the hell out of here. You know, I'd love to watch a 100% speedrun of this game. I, speedruns are fascinating to me, I, I guess. I mean, like, any percent speedruns are interesting because it's like, how many glitches can you exploit to beat the game? But in my personal opinion, 100% speedruns are more interesting because it's, it's less of a, how many glitches can I exploit? And more of a, how fast can I do everything in this game? and still, like, and beat it, and, like, have a record time. Obviously, an any percent is gonna be way faster than a 100%, but, yeah. 100% speedruns are more interesting, in my opinion, just because of the fact that they're not, you know... Let me BLJ my way to, um, Ganon. Alright, we're back in Berenia, finally. It's time to advance. I'm going to assume we need to go down here, because we got the uh, gravity jump. So let's do that. And I, I also, I feel like 100% speedruns are good ways to learn tricks for a game. Like, if you're having trouble with a game, or like, want to like, get better at a game, like, watch a 100% speedrun, and you'll see, you know, the best ways to handle every part of the game. I hope I get the gravity suit soon, just so I can navigate this area like it's not even underwater. Right, I did not mean to fall all the way down here. These, are, these seem like some very inefficient fish. I don't really know how else to put it, but these enemies don't seem very efficient. They're like jellyfish, but even more useless. Well, that one wasn't too hard to get. Uh, but now, now what are we doing? There's quite a lot of sea life in the background there. I feel like eventually we're going to see some of that up close and personal.
Okay, I guess I would've got that missile plus regardless. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, okay, sure. Let me just get as much height as I can so I can make this, this jump. No, are you kidding me? I lost, how did I lose the rhythm? I just, I guess I started going too fast. I do like these little mini X parasites. They look a lot like the original sprite for the X parasite, just like shrunk. Oh, you didn't like that. I mean, I did it on reflex, really, but. Okay, things are getting interesting. We're deep now. Can I activate that from here? Yeah, I can. Not that it really did anything for me. I can't get back up there. Wow, okay. Take it easy there, guy. Maybe we're gonna get the uh, shin spark soon, or not the shin spark. The uh, what's that fucking screw attack? Oh, by the way, I like this this music that just kicked in. Now we really are in in Meridia. Like that. Whoa, easy. That was a little intimidating. That is a really cool animation. There we go. M m some more much needed health. Aha, uh -huh. I knew we were gonna see one of these guys up close. Allergic to ice missiles. Power bomb.
Nothing that can be done in here. Do you see that? Are these... What are these tentacle things? Are they... I mean, they're probably just nothing. Alright. So if that's a dead end, what am I supposed to do? Because I am certainly not getting out of here. Oh wait, I see something. <laughs> I'm glad I noticed that, because uh, it almost blended in with the sea life. Alright, you little shits, get out of my way. Gotcha. You know, we haven't run into an Emmy unit this stream, and it's been nice. It's been a good, relaxing time. I'm not really sure why I did that. need to be higher. we go but yeah uh, when this game was announced I was very happy that we were getting a new Metroid uh, like I said I was cautiously optimistic but you know it's been a long time since we got a new Metroid and now we finally get one and it's actually like good like really good Just, just, just raw destruction. New ability. What's it gonna be? Screw attack. Gravity jump. Gravity suit. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Greatly reduces damage taken from enemy attacks and insulates Samus from extreme cold and lava. It also allows Samus to move freely in water. In addition, the gravity suit slightly increases the dash melee's damage. Sick. It does all kinds of shit. Oh my god, now we move through the water like a knife through butter. Hot knife through butter. 
It's so amazing. Now I just need the screw attack to accompany it. I guess we're getting colder. Right. They just wanted to do me like that. Ooh, a new area? Right. So you're telling me if I did all of this, I would have got brought back to Artaria anyway. It's okay. It's fine. It's 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 all good in the hood, as they say. This took us to a cold part of Artaria. The gravity suit is so good looking. Man. I must be getting the... The... the uh... Screw attack soon. I'm getting tired. I'm having- I'm starting to have trouble with my words. Which means I'm, I am gonna have to save this soon, probably. But I really do want to keep playing. Ice almost looks like it should be meltable. I think it's going to be, somehow. Right. Just dangling item in front of my face. Oh, good. Another one of these guys. And this time, he's got a goddamn energy shield. Or, not energy shield, just shield. Okay, I gotta remember how to fight these guys. Can we break his shield? Or nah. Okay, I had a really good rhythm down when I was fighting these guys last time, and now I'm- now I've lost it. It's okay, I, I think I've got it back. Also, I'm glad we were able to break the motherfucker's shield. That would have been so annoying. If you couldn't. That's new. He just went all, uh, the exorcism on me.
dude did a lot of damage too. Let's try that again. I tried to dodge too early. Wow, that one hit did like two of my energy bars. Alright, so this new wall puke thing is not- I'm not a huge fan of that. My god, that was close. Holy shit. I was one hit away from death for like the last five minutes of that battle. It wasn't that long, but still. I really was one hit away from death. Ow, fuck. That sucked. Okay, until I get the flamethrower or whatever, I'm not- I can't go through the ice. Hey, there we go. I mean, that makes me glad I backtracked. Alright, fuck. Thank god that block saved me, actually. Oh, excuse me. Fuck these enemies that go underground. Yeah, you like that? Oh. Uh... And the purpose of this room is, of course... I think I know, actually. Yep, okay. Alright. This is pretty simple, at least. Maybe. We've gone from less than 100 at the beginning of this stream to almost 200.
Oh shit. I just realized like the whole this is like we're we're now in areas we've already been in, except they've been overtaken by the cold. I don't know why it took me that long to realize that. I was like, man, I don't remember there being Fuck. This big of an ice area down here, and there wasn't. Now I'm really glad I, uh... Backtracked earlier, because... Routes are closed off on us now. Can we warm the planet back up or something? Maybe this is some sort of contingency that's meant to stop Metroids. And they employed it to, uh, try and stop Samus. Except, you know, I just managed to get the gravity suit. Or I managed to get the gravity suit just in time. Yeah, there's gotta be a way to warm the planet back up, because this ice would stop you from getting items if, if there wasn't. So let's follow the only path we can for the moment. Adam has to say. Uploading data. I have determined the reason for the planet's rapid cooling. Thermal energy is no longer being routed from Cataris. This area, Arteria, is located in the depths of the planet. Much of it will be frozen. Find a way to thaw any frozen doors and pools you encounter. The central control system you activated in Cataris is still operational. Some force must be physically blocking the routing of thermal energy. I suspect a powerful X is involved. You must annihilate it. Return here after solving the problem. The cooling has prevented you from exploring this area. There must be a vital ability hidden somewhere here. Alright, let's do it. I like the lightning, like lightning bolt light going down her torso now. God, that motherfucker could take a lot of shots, can he? So our goal is to make our way back up to Kataris. Hopefully we can do that without too much trouble. Here's that aforementioned trouble I was speaking of. The Emmy room areas are completely inaccessible at the moment. this door up here. Good. Good. Things are warm here, at least.
barely, but warm enough, I guess. Combat in this game is pretty great. Man, we've been at this game for nearly 10 hours at this point. That's that's pretty good. Man, it's even cold here. This is Kataris. This is the lava zone. Yeah, some shit must be going on. Hell froze over. So where am I headed here? Exactly 100% sure, actually. So we're just gonna go the only way we can go. Oh, here we go. This is definitely the way we're supposed to go. Fuck. This enemy, man. I don't know why I have so much trouble timing this one. Gotcha. Whatever's going on, we're about to find out. this thing. Okay, that was a 
counter chance. This is definitely going to be a pain in the ass boss fight, isn't it? It's okay, I'm you know, I'm starting to see the solutions already. Okay, one one death down. That's one death down. That is one death down. I've got tons of them. All right, phase two. this Aha uh -huh. It just gets harder and harder Here we go. I think I got him. I think I got him this time. I do got a lot of missiles on me, so... I am doing well in that department. for this game are amazing. Like, it's incredible how much effort was put into the, the animations. I got two of your arms. Fuck this flappy bird part.
Gotcha. Gotcha, you dumb motherfucker. Everybody are weird arms. Why is that part so difficult? Please die. Yeah, die, please. <laughs> Got gotcha. Oh, thank God. Thermal energy restored. That was fun. Let's go see what ability is in Artaris that we couldn't get. Let's save, though, actually. Considering what we just accomplished. Good to have the place not frozen over. I actually went past the elevator somehow. I'm... 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 Tired. What goody what goody awaits us?
all the way on the other side of Artaria. Hi, big guy. Well, that was a kind of a cool segment, though, having all the whole um, area frozen over like that. This game likes to throw in like linear sections every now and then, where it's like you 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 can't you're not free to explore anymore until you you do this next linear section, which I don't really mind. Uh. Just hopefully you're not, you know, underprepared for a boss fight or something. Because you're not exactly leaving to go grab items. <laughs> Oops. Wrong item. Wrong item room. This area is still cold, but I feel like this is the area that's, you know, supposed to be. Gotta be screw attack. Come on. Uh-huh. So how do I get to the item? Oh, hold on, I think I see something. There we go. Oh, yes. You can never forget that, that logo or whatever, that icon. Surround Samus with powerful energy during a spin jump, allowing her to damage enemies upon impact. It can destroy screw attack blocks and is effective against enemies that are cloaked in electrical energy. We got the screw attack. Our combat potential has increased like sevenfold.
All right, well, that opens up even more options for our exploration. Right, that's that energy tank I can't get yet. 89% of the items here. We're almost... We're almost done here. In this, this first area. But I won't be able to get it till I have power bombs and whatever the item is I need. For... Uh this up here. Alright, well, we're gonna save this soon, because I, I gotta go to bed. But, uh... This has been a lot of fun today. probably take that elevator back up to Berenia, which would put me pretty close to where I need to be, right? Yeah. So you know what, let's do that. Let's make our way to that save room. And this is where we're going to call it a night. Uploading data. Well done, Samus. You have stopped the planet from cooling. In addition, you have gained the screw attack ability. It will help you access previously unreachable places. You are far more combat ready than when you first arrived, but you are still not prepared to face Raven B. There is a very low probability of success in standing against him now. There. Alright. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. We'll be back tomorrow, I think, with more Metroid Dread tomorrow night. Thanks to everyone who came by. I appreciate it. Um, Wednesday will be the next major game of the month. That's going to be Outlast. It's going to be a one-off. It's going to be on hard. I'm going to I'm gonna cry, probably. And that's, yeah, that's, that's what's going to, that's what's going on. But yeah, definitely more Metro Dread tomorrow night because I am, I I I love this game. All right, well, I'm gonna get ready and go to bed because I'm I'm like falling asleep sitting here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>